No Time to Die James Bond, movie story. Young Madeline Swan, whose father, Mr. White, carried out the assassination of Lyotsefa Safin's family on orders from Ernst Stavro Blofeld. Sees her mother being murdered by Lyotsefa Safin. Safin is shot by Swan, but he escapes and saves her as she plunges across a frozen lake. Swan is currently in Matera with James Bond, who has left MI6, following the capture of Blofeld. She requests that Bond pay a visit to the grave of Vesper Lind, his ex-girlfriend, where he only barely escapes an explosion set off by Spectre agents commanded by Primo, a mercenary with a bionic eye. Swan is forced to board a train out of Matera as Bond manages to elude additional assassination attempts and escapes with her. This ends their relationship because Bond believes Swan betrayed Five years later, Spectre agents capture MI6 scientist Valdo Obruchev and take possession of Project Heracles. A top-secret weapon created under M's direction that uses nanobots that spread through skin contact to kill people with DNA. Felix Letter, a friend of the CIA, and Logan Ash. Letter's State Department co-worker, contact Bond while he is staying in Jamaica and seek for his assistance in rescuing Obruchev from a Spectre party in Cuba. Bond declines but changes his mind after Nomi, the new 007, cautions him not to become involved and connects him with M, who won't talk to him about Heracles. Bond and Paloma, an agent working with Letter, sneak into the Spectre party. Through Primo's bionic eye, Blofeld keeps an eye on the gathering from Belmarsh. When Obruchev secretly reconfigured Heracles on Safin's orders, it kills the Spectre members instead of Bond when he releases a Heracles aerosol to kill Bond. Bond prevents Nomi from removing Obruchev and delivers him to Ash and Letter, who are hiding on a remote trawler, with Paloma's assistance. While Bond escapes the sinking ship, Ash, who is covertly working for Safin, Fatally wounds Letter before setting off explosives and taking off with Obruchev. Reuniting with former MI6 co-workers, Bond returns to London. He tries to question Blofeld to get information on Obruchev's employer, but it seems that Blofeld only talks to Swan, his psychiatrist. Swan is forced by Safin to contract Heracles in order to kill Blofeld in secret. When Bond encounters Swan at Belmarsh, he accidentally contracts Heracles by touching her. Blofeld tells Bond that he staged the explosion at Vesper's tomb to give Bond the impression that Madeline betrayed him, and Swan departs after growing too upset to confront him. Bond chokes Blofeld out of rage, unintentionally allowing Heracles to murder Blofeld by entering his system. Swan's boyhood home in Norway is where Bond finds her, and there the two are reunited. He meets Mathilde Swan, who Swan swears is not his daughter and who is five years old. Swan divulges information she and her father have learned about Safin, including details regarding his base of operations on an island. The following morning, MI6 inform Bond that Ash is close by. Safin kidnaps Swan and Mathilde after leading the chases into a nearby forest, but Bond manages to take down Safin's goons and exact revenge on Letter by killing Ash. Bond and Nomi infiltrate Safin's headquarters, a missile facility in the Sea of Japan that has been transformed into a nanobot factory for Obruchev to mass produce Heracles for the illegal market. After receiving a briefing from M and an equipping by Q. O. Bruchif is killed by Nomi by kicking him into a nanobot pool. 
So Finn runs away with Matilde but eventually releases her after Bond confronts him. Swan makes it out of Primo's grasp and meets up with Bond and Matilde. Swan and Matilde are escorted off the island by Nomi, while Bond stays behind to unlock the blast-resistant silo doors. He dispatches a missile strike from HMS Dragon to demolish the factory after killing all of Safin's men, including Primo. Bond is ambushed by Safin, who shoots him and gives him a vial of nanobots that are programmed to murder Swan and Matilde. Bond kills Safin after admitting defeat and then unlocks the silo doors. He uses the radio to say goodbye and to tell Swan how much he loves both Matilde and her. Swan affirms Matilde's parentage as being that of Bond. Bond was killed and the factory was destroyed when missiles struck the island. M. Moneypenny, Nomi, Q, and Bill Tanner raise a glass to James Bond at 1001st 6. Swan tells Matilda a tale about a man named James Bond as she is being driven to Matera. 